This is how I would learn to code if I could start over again. There is little in the world that evolves as rapidly as the world of software development. Compared to the 1960s when people had to invent the technology to bring humanity to the moon, in contrast to today where it's all about using the latest and fanciest JavaScript framework to flex in your developer buddies. Not only the coding itself has changed over the decades, but the ways how you can actually learn to code. A couple years ago, people bought something called books on C++ or JavaScript to learn the language. If you were born before 2008, you might remember those paper things with a bunch of letters in them that only smart people could understand. Right now is the best time ever to learn to code, because you have unlimited and free resources out there to learn how you can build the next billion dollar app. So here are 5 things I would do if I could start over again. Just start and do it. Learning how to code really shouldn't be a very theoretical process for you. And that was one of the biggest mistakes I have made when I first started out to learn to code. My goal was to build a simple website for myself using basic HTML and CSS. But instead of just starting the project, I began watching tens of hours of videos with titles like most developers don't know these HTML tags or something like that, which didn't provide me any value at the time because I didn't know any HTML tags. So I just wasted so many hours with a theoretical approach instead of just fucking around and figuring it out. Not only was that a very inefficient way of learning, because of course I forgot all the secret HTML tags as soon as I started using the, well, not so secret ones. But this is also not how learning to code works. You must write code to understand it. Of course it's not wrong to read and watch tutorials, and you probably will need them eventually. But keep in mind to always follow along with a tutorial and to write the code to understand it. But of course don't just copy the code from the tutorial you're watching. Make it your own. Use AI to learn and not to let it do all the work for you. We live in a time that has never existed like this before. ChatGPT and other AI models are probably one of the best, if not the best ways to learn to code today. Some of you might disagree and say that AI is gonna replace all of the programmers eventually. But let me say it like this. If you don't start using AI to your advantage, it will not replace you. But everybody else who's using it will be so much better and faster that you will be replaced by them. The latest AI models can not only write you very good code, but they can also be your teacher. Whenever you don't understand something you just read in a tutorial, just ask ChatGPT to explain the code and it will go through every single line and tell you exactly what the code does and what you could use it for. You just have to use it as an additional tool in your tool belt. Copy from others. Getting inspiration from others, which is just a fancy way of saying copying others work, is perfectly fine if you want to learn something new. Not their code, but the idea. When I started to code, I really wanted to create a new app that is some kind of innovation and solves a big problem, so I can later sell it for billions to Elon. But keep in mind, I didn't even know how to code at this time. Coming up with a completely new idea is often much harder than taking a simple app that already exists and try to rebuild it in your own way. You will need to acquire a bunch of new skills to be able to copy someone else's work. And while you're doing that, you will learn a ton of new things. Because you will have a goal and have to figure out all the small components that get you to where you want to be in the end. That really was one of the best working ways for myself to learn to code. Whenever I saw a cool website with something I haven't seen before, I always asked myself how I could implement something like that and deeply thought about how the dev has done it. Later I found a cool browser extension called Webalyzer that tells you with what technology a website is built with. So just copy ideas from others and once you have the skills, you can always bring in your own creativity later and build the next billion dollar app. Work autonomous. Back in school when I first started learning to code, we often had group assignments in which we had to develop a small program within one week and received a grade for the entire project. One bad thing I used to do a lot in these projects was to rely too much on my classmates. It turns out that choosing close friends as project partners might not always be the most productive choice, especially when you're trying to learn something new. I'm not saying that working with your friends is a bad thing, it's great. But coding is something that everybody has to learn for himself because you will need to deeply understand what you are doing and in my experience that has worked best while I could really focus on the work and didn't get any distractions from joking around with my friends even if this probably would have been more fun. Being a software engineer frequently entails receiving a task and working independently. There won't always be somebody around for you to ask for help and your superiors will expect you to be able to acquire new skills by yourself and use them for the project. That's why I recommend you to really focus on yourself while learning to code, because joking around with your friends during projects won't really get you hired at Google. So YouTube, Google and of course ChatGPT are your true best friends when it comes to independent learning and acquiring new skills. Focus on one. I started with coding when I was about 16 years old, and one of my biggest hobbies back then was gaming. 
So naturally, I thought that I should start and code my own game. But I quickly realized that it really wasn't the right approach for me and started jumping around on a bunch of different programming languages. I tried Python, C Sharp and got stuck on Java for a while, but only scratched the top level of these languages and never really became good in any of them. A little later I actually had the need to learn how to create a good website because my mom offered me 250 bucks if I could create a website for her business. So I had a lot of motivation to get into web development because I actually had a real use case for it. After I completed my first ever website, which really wasn't that good to be honest, I realized that I enjoyed web development the most of what I've tried and started to learn PHP and a little JavaScript and stuck with them. They also are the languages that I mostly use today in my job as a full stack software engineer. So my advice for you is to find a software niche you would like to create apps for, like web or mobile app development, and just pick one language to start with and stick with it until you have the feeling that you genuinely understand it. Trust me when I say that it's not so important which programming language you learn, unless it's something like COBOL or something, but what's much more important is simply mastering one, because it helps you understand the fundamentals of programming and makes it so much easier to learn any language afterwards. These are the 5 things I would do if I would start learning to code again. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.